Summer's the time of year many people hire contractors, right? For home improvement projects like painting or a new patio. But the state is warning some of those workers may be bidding on projects they're not legally allowed to do. That's right. So tonight we're getting answers on how state agents are trying to stop this activity. You don't have any warrants or anything, right? No. Undercover stings like this are being held across the state looking for unlicensed contractors. We catch people at pretty much most of our stings. Catherine White with the Contractor State License Board says 11 people were arrested in Elk Grove this month during an undercover bust. If you are asking for a bid over $500, you need to have a valid contractor's license. It's a law designed to make sure those doing the work have the proper skills and protect the customer. That's the key reason why you want to hire a licensed contractor is you know that typically the quality of the work is going to be higher than that of an unlicensed contractor. It also helps avoid excessive down payments. And a contractor that matter should be asking no more than $1,000 or 10% of the total contract price, whichever is less. Victims of disasters like fires and floods are also often targeted by illegal contractors. They know that someone wants to rebuild fast, and so they're out there, and they were often asking for the entire price of the job up front. And it's also a felony to be contracting without a license in a, in a declared disaster area. So how can people hire a reputable contractor? One builder has some advice. Local supply houses know the good and bad contractors, and they will not give you a bad referral. So get a few names from them, and that's how you pick your contractor. The state also maintains a public database where people can check to see if someone is licensed and even search for contractors in their neighborhood. You want to make sure you're really properly vetting them to make sure that you're getting the, the best person for the job. Unlicensed contractors face fines up to $1,000 for a first-time offense. Repeat offenders could be sentenced to jail time.